Alright guys, another day, another adventure. Guy is already there waiting for me. And uh we're heading up to two waterfalls. So I'll update you when we get there. Having my driver Gary for another day of adventures and his knowledge of the local waterfalls, we have arrived nice and early to our first destination, Aginit Falls. Don't worry, it's not glittery. Only the color black and brown. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. All stable. <laughs> How many levels there? Eight. Eight levels. We just passed level one. We are now in level two. Once I signed up and paid my environmental fee to enter the waterfall, it was also mandatory to hire two guys with me. They will show you around and make sure you are safe and have the best experience. There isn't a fixed amount of how much you should pay them, but rather it's based on your personal experience. <laughs> Basically, you are just tipping them at the end of your journey. 200 pesos per guide is recommended, but it's always good to be generous as these guys are very knowledgeable and that is how they are making a living. Oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> It's a baby iguana. Baby iguana. Oh. Okay. I'm always scared I'm gonna slip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's on, only full of black and brown. As I was the first person to arrive at the waterfalls, we took our time at each level. With the temperature rising further in the day, having running water around you was a blessing. I even had a time for a quick shower. <laughs> Take your time! Climbing up the stream from one rock to another can be very tricky and dangerous. One must know where to step and hold on to without slipping or falling. The boys were showing me where all the safe points are with great attention. Step on the hard, okay. I wanted to help Ramen as he was carrying my bag and the camera in one hand. But of course he didn't need my help. He can climb the rocks without hands. <laughs> With the careful attention of my guides and their knowledge of the waterfall, we were moving forward to the next level. We can do some jumps here. Yeah. <laughs> Stand here, then jump in the air. Yeah. You jump, then you need. Yeah. <laughs> Lalam. Ya. Wow. Ya.
There was this surprising moment after every climb. The scenery was changing from small tiny streams to massive limestone rocks and beautiful waterfall formations. <laughs> While the technical guild carrier was taking me through one level to another, Ramen was carrying my bag and the camera. He was even recording the videos for me and that gave me the chance to enjoy my trek. The views were getting better and better with each level. There was this place on one of the top levels that looked like an infinity pool where you can swim or just sit and relax on the edge of it with breathtaking horizon. Let's do this. Okay, that was level 8, the last one, yeah. and all levels were beautiful. My tour guides helped me to climb all the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> they can do it with our hands, I need the help. <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys, do you get many people coming into the waterfalls? Maps, maps no? Yeah. Do you think because it's not famous yet or yeah the yeah, is the yeah, famous yeah okay guys thank you see ya thank you guys have a good day okay guys we just finished with our green it falls and uh it was it was epic experience i mean it was a short journey but also it was a 
really good. The guys helped me to climb the rocks. Halfway was very, very slippery, but it wasn't. And we are on to the next waterfall. short ride on the motorbike with Gary and we reached Inambakan waterfall. This waterfall is famous with its 100 feet drop into the blue pool of water. Once we arrived we were welcomed by a young man named Chris who happened to be a guide. He took me to the reception where I should pay my entrance fee, which was about 50 pesos. Straight after that we headed to our adventure, starting with a very steep flight of stairs to level 5. Have you been the engineering? Huh? Have you been the engineering? Yeah, yeah. I did the. You mean the continuing? Yeah. Last one, yeah. Today? No, uh, two days ago. Ah, today. Yeah. It was, uh, it was good. Hot day today. What was the time? Nine o'clock now? What? What was the time? Eight five five. Almost nine o'clock and it's so hot. <laughs> Coming nine. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, nice. Slippery. Slippery. Green stuff, slippery, yeah? Yeah. Ah. Ooh. We're gonna jump here? Yeah. Oh. Jumping. My goodness! <laughs> Jumping! Slippery, okay? Yeah? Can you record? Chris did his jump and it was my turn now. I wanted him to record mine while he was still in the water. Unfortunately, my GoPro failed when I was passing it over to him. He came all the way back up to the cliff so I can reset the camera and he could record my cliff jump. Taking the experience from Kawasan Falls, this jump was pretty easy, although I had to measure my landing as there were rocks everywhere. But it is safe to say I survived this one too. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Uh, it, it always looks scary, but once you're in the air, you don't care. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. I'm always having my lab vest because I'm a very bad swimmer. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Yeah, well, how you? From there. Yeah. <laughs> Jump on the road. <laughs> <laughs> After the cliff jump, 
few jokes, we've started our descent towards the lower levels. Each of the levels offered amazing scenery and views. That sound of rumbling water running down to the next level gives you a small amount of understanding how powerful the nature is. This guys is level 3 and the name of that level is called Campael 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 Very beautiful Crystal clear water easy eh? going down <laughs> going up is oh. easy. so difficult Start. okay guys we're heading up to the and the waterfall which is the highest one here that is so beautiful look at that time for a swim level one. <laughs> this is level one the highest one the highest how tall is that? how tall? in the back and ball how, how tall? Ah, uh, high? Yeah. 95 feet. How long? 95. Yeah, yeah, 95 feet. 95 feet. No jumping from there. No jumping. Because <laughs> the rocks. Yeah, they've got rocks there, so... Nah. As we reach the final and the highest level one, according to Chris, it's 95 feet high, and the sound of the water falling on top of the rocks in the beautiful blue pool just so loud that we could barely hear each other so we decided that it was time to go under the waterfall and experience its power
very early in the morning I hit the road is because you will be one of the first ones to arrive at the destination and be able to enjoy it before the crowds arrive. After the successful visit of both Guinness and Inambakan waterfalls I now have the whole day available to do whatever I like and of course why not start with a well-deserved lunch with a view over the Panaxama beach? We will end our evening with this video with a few drinks on the terrace at the chili bar while waiting for the amazing sunset to announce the end of another full with great experiences and adventure day in the beautiful Philippines. <laughs> <laughs>